Hey guys, Lance Van Zandt here with Van Zandt Controls. Wanted to show you guys a, not necessarily a new product for us, but, but uh, we've been doing a lot of testing with this for the past, over the past year. But uh, it'd be a new product for a lot of you guys. But we do a lot of uh, V-balls for low pressure applications and then for higher pressure on discharge of pumps to hold back pressure on a pump, removing a lot of produced water like SWD or transfer or whatever the application is where you have a pump where you might be getting two, 3,000 PSI out of it and you need to hold back pressure to keep your pump in its curve to optimum curve. Um, that, that's kind of a pretty difficult application. A lot of times you might have a well in a vacuum and you might have a valve closed, pump turns on, uh, as the, the pump start, the valve starts to open, build up well pressure and the valve goes more and more open, but you're uh, trying to keep your pump in its curve, you know, move, moving a lot of high volume of water. Um, but for low pressure stuff, a lot of butterflies, a lot of V-balls, we stock those also, we'd be happy to help you with those. But for high pressure stuff, we were really excited to, you know, let you guys know about our partnership with Masterflow. We're a Masterflow, Master Distributor. Uh, so Masterflow is really well known across the world for being the most erosion resistant and high CV choke valve, choke control valve for wellheads. So they're, they're, you know, a lot of companies standardize on those for their wellheads to control, but they're real erosion resistant. But working with those guys on coming up with just a better mousetrap for, for produced water, we came up with this valve. So most people traditionally are using either a, a severe service globe type valve, I won't mention any names, but, but they're very expensive, very long lead time, parts are very expensive for those. Um, also, you know, they're a linear, you know, a lot of those are linear valves, so it's, it gets expensive also to put an actuator on them. So most people are using a disc style, style choke, uh, which disc style chokes, uh, they work great if you size them real good, but if, you, if you're off on the sizing, you can create pinholes, washouts, uh, piping issues, different things. Also, if your parameters change, they're not very forgiving. You need to go in there and change discs out, change, resize them, right? So what's nice about this valve is it's, it's, we've taken kind of technology that's been you know, used for, for wellhead and we've working with Masterflow and with a couple customers, we've worked on making this, the, this, this valve right here. So this is a cage in the sleeve style valve, right? So you've got a cage in the sleeve here, which this is, a, this is a, what we call a lifter. So this lifter right here converts a, a linear to a rotary motion so we can use a rotary actuator. We can do many different actuators, whether pneumatic, electric, different brands of electrics, different brands of pneumatics with IDPs, 4 to 20 controllers, smart valve positioners. This right here is what we've been doing the most of with the ones that we've been selling. This is the ValveCon, universal power, universal control, explosion proof. You can put any voltage to this, 12 volt DC, 24 volt DC, 120 volt AC, 220 volt AC. Has a heater and thermostat, it's fail safe, lithium ion battery inside, makes it fail safe, fail open, fail closed, fail to mid position. Um, but anyways, this is a great actuator, especially combined with this valve. But this valve right here, since it's a Cajun sleeve, it's tungsten carbide in the center cavity of the valve, and all it was, it's called an impingement choke. So, and when the pressure, when, you're, when, you're, when your water comes in, you know, into the valve, it actually splits the stream inside of the valve, and, and your pressure drop, it's impinging on itself to create your pressure drop inside the cavity of the valve. So you don't have to, you don't have to worry about a wear sleeve or anything downstream of the valve, to, to keep your valve from washing out, right? Or cavitation. Uh, it, your pressure drop, it has the best pressure recovery, which is what causes cavitation. Best pressure recovery of, of really about any valve that's on the market. So, but your, your pressure drops here in the cavity of the valve, you don't have to worry about any, any um, piping issues or any washing out or pinholes of the valve. It's a very proven valve for a wellhead, which wellhead, you know, there's a lot of solids and stuff you're getting on a wellhead. Um, so you know the, how difficult that application is. So we've taken this valve and, and kind of modified it slightly to fit where it works exceptional on, on back pressure on pumps. Ceramic or tungsten carbide discs that, that have orifices in it. <coughs> Here's some tungsten carbide discs. If you notice here on this plate here, uh, this is, this is uh, some of the common stuff that you'll see in disc type chokes. But you have, um, you have gearing inside and if you have any H2S or different things in your water, what can happen is the gearing can round off and break, and then your your valve, you know, your actuator is telling it to go to position, but your your teeth are broken, and and the gear it's not able to control your valve. You're not controlling anything, so you need to break the valve open and repair it. So, but the, but this valve here, it doesn't have any 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 of those. It's a great valve, great new product. Um, please keep us in mind for valve automation, flow measurement, or instrumentation. And uh, please feel free to reach out to us. And again, appreciate you. Have a great day. Thank you.